What's up guys, so we're gonna show you how to do the close grip bench press properly. Let's get into it. We're gonna start this off by demonstrating three common mistakes that we see people making. Mistake number one, as you guys can see, I'm just compensating by tucking my elbows to work my tricep. This is going to be very awkward and put too much strain on my shoulder when that is not necessary at all. Thanks, khakis, pal. <laughs> Mistake number two, this is something I see way too often. A lot of people actually believe that having the wrists closer together on a tricep um, close grip bench press actually activates the triceps more. There's a ton of studies out there that actually say not only does it not activate your triceps more, but it places way too much stress on your elbows and your wrists, which is going to cause injury. And on top of that, you're not going to be able to lift as much weight. So if you're doing this, please stop before you get injured and uh, you're not making any gains. Mistake number three is doing the close grip bench press just like in any other bench press. You move your hands in an inch, half an inch. I see people doing this all the time. They make no changes, they just move their hand in a fraction of the way, kind of get nowhere, and you're just going to end up doing a bench press. It's the same thing, it's just changing where your hand placement is ever so slightly. Hey guys, so when executing proper form in the close grip bench press, there's a lot of things that you need to keep in mind. Number one, you want to start off by taking a shoulder width grip approach to the bar. Once you have your scapula nice and retracted to the bench and you're all set up, you want to make sure that you're keeping it nice and slow on the eccentric and exploding up on the concentric. With that being said, when you're lowering the bar down, you want to make sure the bar is going just to the bottom of your chest. You're making sure that you're getting a full range of motion. And most importantly, instead of having your elbows flared out, you're keeping them nice and tight to your lats. Guys like Josh and myself, who appear to be a bit wider, it's harder to keep our elbows fully tight to our lats, but we do what we can and make sure we're really keeping them nice and tight to ensure that we're working the full three heads of the triceps. Okay, on top of that guys, you really want to make sure you're utilizing mind-muscle connection with this exercise. And this is a common mistake that a lot of people do and I believe this is what leads them to actually doing the exercise correctly. So a lot of people don't actually focus on the muscle being worked and you really need to make sure when you're locking out at the top of the movement, you're not just kind of repping and going, you're making sure that you're feeling a nice squeeze in your tricep and really working all three heads. With that being said, this is one of my favorite tricep building exercises, mainly because I feel like you can really overload with a heavy amount of weight while using good form and on top of that you can make sure that you're really pushing your limits to actually grow all three heads of the tricep. On to some variations, we're going to show you probably about three of them to really switch in uh, to your workout routine and keep building them tricep heads. So this is our first variation. This is a great way to actually teach you how to do it properly. And the main thing we're focusing on is keeping our elbows nice and tucked while doing this push-up. Um, so we're going to use a medicine ball so that way we can actually make sure that we're doing it properly. And I'm going to show you guys a couple reps on how to do them. So you want to go down nice, hold the ball right on the side. And like I said, you want to make sure you're keeping your elbows nice and tucked. You don't want to be doing it flared like this, that's going to hurt your shoulder. And it's going to work stability a ton. They actually are very tough to do. You see me shaking. But assuming you keep your elbows nice and tucked to your side, you're going to be working all three heads of the tricep. One other cool thing about this is when you guys notice, if you're doing close grip push-up, just like this, myself, I tend to feel a lot of wrist pain, but the fact that you're holding the ball in like a neutral grip position makes it a lot easier on your wrists. All right guys, for the second variation, if you're having a lot of pain or you just find that you're not able to do the barbell effectively, sometimes the gym's just really busy and you don't want to be that guy waiting for another bench press. Go ahead, grab yourself some dumbbells, just like a normal dumbbell press, kick back, Similar form concerns here. You're not pressing like this, you're gonna be pressing here, keeping those elbows tight, you're going up. That's about that, down, up. I like to touch my chest because it keeps me consistent. This one you wanna make sure you're going nice and deep on that eccentric, getting a big contraction with that mind muscle connection, as Kyle previously stated. I really like these because it makes you work each arm independently. A lot of you guys find that one tricep is significantly stronger than the other. This will really help even out those arms, get you guys some juicy triceps. Uh, this is something I've been doing for a while. Try to do it. It's a great thing to start an arm workout with. 
we're working after a bench press. It's also going to help you with your bench form if you're having issues locking out. Getting stronger triceps is going to make a big difference because when you're tighter, you've got a big range of motion. As opposed to people that are benching like this. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you guys want more tips on common exercises and how to do them properly to take them to the next level in their final form, hit that like button, subscribe, check out our how-to playlist, join our network, our community, we appreciate it. You guys are the best. Peace. I need to readjust. It's extremely uncomfortable, but it's something I see so often.